Yeah, um, just just to tie your shoe about oh, 90 feet away from the side of the boat. Okay. Okay. Tell me when. Is no. this 90 feet? No. Okay. <laughs> is anybody watching us or following us? Or are we being? Are we being? Uh, no, the the guard. I mean, the, the guards are watching you leave, but they're not like intensely casing you. Anybody, even just following us. Just I want to keep an eye out for a tail. Okay. The next so you're hour. Keeping an eye out. No worries. Okay. Um, if you could go ahead and roll a stealth check for Frumpkin. Oh, as a monkey. Come on. Oh, come on. Frumpkin always fucks it up. Oh, good. Uh, oh, okay, I've got a baboon prepped for Frumpkin. Hold on. The stealthiest of creatures. 18. Hey. That's a good, right? Good. That's okay. He's actually a baboon. I thought he was I like a teeny tiny like spider monkey. I just 5e monkey on Google. That's what they taught me at Soltris Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Huge, Caleb. A baboon is really big. Well, he's using the stats that bad. Well, I uh, rolled 16. Okay. All right. And baboon says plus two, so just go with it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the righteous brand, unaware, you can sense Frumpkin complete the journey beneath the gangplank onto the edge of the ship, yeah. and then grasping onto the rougher edges of the outside of the actual ship hull itself, make his way to the edge of one of the gunship portholes, slowly open it and slip barely inside. I put my arm on Beauregard's shoulder and say, just look at the ocean, it is so beautiful. What a beautiful sight to behold. Yeah. So gorgeous. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> So blue. <laughs> Just take it all in. What's he saying? Can he hear anything? Okay. So as you... don't forget that okay. I can't so... hear anything. So if you try to talk to me, this I can't be, hear this you. This will be interesting. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Focusing through Frumpkin's eyes, you look into the interior of this <laughs> darkened uh, gun deck of the ship. There are. Two cannons within there, as opposed, it looks like it was built from multiple, multiple cannons, but there's only two in there, a very beautiful make. Um, and immediately, just at a glance, you can see these are not standard cannonball-based cannons. These are arcane in nature, and who knows what they're capable of when fired. Um, it is very dark, and you watch two figures kind of waltz in with haste. Um, you hear one voice, Ludinus, say, I couldn't help but gauge your discomfort with the conversation. And the other figure goes, uh, well, I just wasn't expecting to see them. And Ludus goes, shh, hold on. Does some hand motions. And as he releases what looks to be a simple spell, there's this faint shockwave that dissipates within a radius of them. Uncertain what it does. Though you gather in the moment that it's probably some sort of a radial dispel to lock down or destroy any localized magic. Um, however, the illusion around Lord Desrin Thane vanishes. <gasps> and there standing uh, in his place is a gently floating male drow oh! with short hair. No. So blue, so beautiful. Look at it, the waves are so beautiful. To which the revealed Essek responds. 